YouTube, what's up, man? We back with another video. As you guys can see, I picked up the camera, so that means we got another load. Um, right now, we in the truck. We warming it up. It's super early, bro. It's like 1, 2 in the morning. And it's the weekend, y'all. It's the weekend. Usually on the weekends, you know, I take my time to relax. If I'm home, if I'm not over the road, you know, I take my time to relax, be with the family, you know, run errands, do what I got to do. But it's Amazon peak season, baby. It's Amazon peak season. Now, let me tell you guys about Poster Truck, right? Um, as you guys can see from the last video, I did my first Amazon load ever. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jason. I go by J Swipes. I'm a 22 year old owner operator slash fleet owner in the New York, New Jersey area. And my sole purpose is to document my life as an owner operator slash fleet owner. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to hit that like button so my videos can get around to more people just like you. And make sure to subscribe to my channel as well so I can continue dropping videos just like this more often. Now, if you're somebody that's been wanting to start a trucking business, but you don't know exactly how, or you feel like you're missing a couple steps, well, I've been able to create a trucking guide bundle pack where I put together four in-depth trucking guides to teach you exactly how to get up and running from the beginner level all the way up to the expert level. The link to the trucking guide bundle pack is gonna be in the description below and it's also gonna be in my Instagram bio as well. So make sure you check that out before this video ends and let's get back to the video. Right, now this wasn't an actual Amazon relay load. This was a Amazon load through a third party. So kind of the same thing, kind of not the same thing. These past couple of days, I've actually been playing around with the Amazon Relay app and I've been playing around with Poster Truck. Now, for those of you guys that don't know what Poster Truck is, you can list your truck and you can set up the settings however you want, right? So you can put the minimum dollar per mile that you want to get paid. You can put the minimum payout that you want to get paid. Um, and that's what I've been doing, right? So I posted my truck and my truck got filled up for two days on a weekend so i have one load that's picking up right now at um three in the morning something like that two three in the morning and that's like a hundred and forty something mile trip it's super short probably about four hours and then the next trip that i have is going to be later on in the day now this is going to be around 5 p.m um i'm picking up another load it's a one pick one drop um this is another short load i think it's about 248 miles um which is going to probably take me about five um I lied, it's gonna take me about three or so hours. So I wanted to make sure I picked up this camera um, and showed everybody how Amazon peak season is going. My box truck take advantage of Amazon peak season. All the loads that are getting booked with Amazon, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, I'm also gonna put up the screenshots of the loads that Amazon has been booking for me with Postal Truck, so let's get it. We made it to Amazon. Now I gotta figure out how to go through the check-in process. I don't know what boy is doing here. All right, what is what is he doing? He just there. And this is what the check-in looks like. The security guard over here. And one thing about Amazon, y'all, if you guys want to know exactly where it is that you're going before you get here. Um, because if you come to these Amazon warehouses, these warehouses are huge. All right, y'all. So we in. Once you check in, you get this little vendor pass. You give them your license plate. Or not your license plate. What the? You give them your driver's license, and they give you this in exchange so that you can come and load up. So I parked that door 381. Um, so this is all the stuff that I got. All right, y'all, so this is what my load is looking like. Um, so each one of the loads has its own little barcode thing that you scan and it tells you exactly which stop it is. I've already been loading up the truck a little bit. And um, it's not bad, it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, my first time I'm taking, taking a little longer than expected, but. All right, y'all, so we just got done loading up. Um, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of back there, man. It's a whole lot of wrap stuff. It's a couple of loose things like this. Um, as you can see, 
there I am. It tells me how much I weigh, all that good stuff. Um, so now we're about to check back out so I can get going to my first stop. So I couldn't record as much as I wanted to inside because I was focused on getting everything on the truck as soon as possible. I'm gonna be honest, I'm like 45 minutes behind schedule, but it is my first time at this warehouse. It's my first time loading up with Amazon. The last load that I did was an Amazon load, but it was through a third party. So it was only four pallets I loaded up. Um, I didn't have to do any other loading. With this Amazon load, I had to scan the barcodes. There was a whole bunch of loose packages. Um, and then there was, there's about six pallets on there. Total weight is just below 2000 pounds. So it's really light. Now we're about to head to our first drop, which is about an hour and a half away. The hardest part of this Amazon load is really just scanning all of the packages, making sure you have everything on your truck. Um, after that, really, you're just driving and you're dropping stuff off. When you're dropping stuff off, you already have your barcode on either the packet or the pallet or the boxes. Um, so you're going to know which package you need to drop off where. It's pretty simple. Stop number one is at a post office. USPS, UPS, whatever this is. Just like that, we are done at stop number one. The next stop is only about 20 minutes away. Let's get to it. arrived at the next the next drop i just found out that they're all gonna be post offices every single one of them is gonna be a post office which is which is pretty cool because all i have to do is park up and don't load myself so let's get to it watch out my boy Good look at my boy Good look at my boy where the f post office number two I just pressed the button on my truck to do his DEF service. So I'm about to see if we can drop this off real quick. Once again, I'm fucking with this, I'm not gonna lie. Amazon, right? Yes, sir. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually liking delivering to these post offices because they are pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty quick. So I have this last pallet for them and then the rest is for the next two stops. And we got the next one. I'm not gonna lie, this shit is getting kind of easy. Fake starting to fuck with Amazon. And now I gotta see how to fuck. Oh, I fucked so wrong. And the next post office is how the gonna get unloaded? What the? F All right, so I had to get out and see how. Okay, I see. The sun is all in the mirror, and I couldn't see how to really back up into that. I wouldn't even call that a dock. I don't even know what to call that, to be honest. But look, you see, you can't see nothing. All right, y'all, so we just got done with the last drop-off. Um, total, we have five stops today. It was about 148 miles, so super, super light. Um, I didn't want to show you guys just repeatedly. It was literally the same thing, post office after post office after post office. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm starting to like this for real, for real, because with these post offices, you really don't have to wait. You literally get there and it's like your, your top priority there. Um, and that's something that I really like about Amazon. So we just finished up the first Amazon load of the day, right? It was, it was one load, five drops, one pick, five drops. Now we have another load coming later today around 5 p.m., right? 
Now this load is actually picking up in Jersey. This load is picking up in Jersey and it's going to Massachusetts. This is about 200 miles um, and it's also paying a thousand dollars. Now the nice thing about this load is it's a one pick, one drop. So as the sooner I can get to the facility, the sooner I can load up, the sooner I can get to Massachusetts and then the sooner I can get back home. This load is literally paying about $6 a mile um, because of peak season, right? Now this is a time that everybody really wants to take advantage of peak season. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna go take my truck to get an oil change, um, you know, the filters, all that good stuff. I'm gonna go take it to get maintenance uh, while I wait for that load later today in Jersey. So stay tuned for part two.